Learning about culture through humor is a great way to improve your knowledge of French, but it can be hard to understand without a native to help you understand the subtleties of the jokes. Today, I wanted to present you a TV series about the 60s that will give you insights about how French people see themselves through humor. It's Au Service de la France. This is what you will achieve today. Very simple. You will discover a new French TV series and you will uncover the hidden meanings behind the jokes. As usual, you can download the full written lesson on comeunefrancaise.com on the blog. You just have to leave your first name and email and you will get the full PDF for free. You can print it, save it for later, share it with a friend or read it wherever you like in the metro, for example. If you're watching this on YouTube, do not miss my free crash course in everyday spoken French that will allow you to double your Frenchness in just 10 days. It's completely free. Go to communefrances.com again, leave your first name and email and you will have access to lesson one immediately. Don't miss out. Bonjour, c'est Géraldine. Bienvenue sur Comme une Française. Allez, c'est parti. What is Au Service de la France? Au Service de la France is a French TV series that's called A Very Secret Service in English. A Very Secret Service. It was commissioned by Arte, Arte in 2015. It's a Franco-German channel that's very popular. It's very pro-European, so it's about all the values and fantastic resources that we have in Europe. And then it transferred to Netflix. In Au Service de la France, we follow a man called André Merlot. André Merlot in the 1960s. He is 23 and he joins Les Services de Renseignement Français. Les Services de Renseignement Français, which is the name for the secret service in France. So it's in the 60s, so you have everything around the 60s, historical events, cultural events, and all the customs of the time. Je vais devenir... Agent secret. Vous deviendrez peut-être un agent des services secrets français. Vous savez mentir Oui. Donc non. In this series, you can see French hierarchy that André discovers that is very, very heavy, very, very strict, and a bit stupid sometimes. He meets other spies as well, mostly men who are in charge of different areas of the world. Obviously, the secretaries are women because this is what was happening then. And what I like is that they're mostly very clever women. You have all the political climate of the 60s in France and around the world. And what's interesting as well on the humor point of view is that he's young and handsome, but he's a bit naive. In French, we say naïf. Naïf, that's the adjective we have for naïf. And it's funny because, because he discovers all this hierarchy and political climate, sometimes you think you could do better. And he actually does better and better as the series go. If you like this TV show, Au Service de la France, you might like other series created by Jean-François Alain. Jean-François Alain is also one of the creators of two very, very, very famous um, programs in France. First, a movie, well, two movies actually, OSS 117. OSS 117 is very much uh, the same as Au Service de la France because it's the same periods, the same kind of climate. It's also with spies and we make fun of the people in the show. And then we have Les Guignols de l'Info, which are finished now, but used to be one of the major TV programs in France and made fun of the news every day. Les Guignols de l'Info. For Au Service de la France, so far you have two seasons that you can enjoy in Netflix and a third one should be coming hopefully soon. Why is it interesting for you as students of French? Well, as I said, it's about real historical events. Sometimes the names of the countries are changed, but you can see the role of the fictional characters in it. Obviously, they're fake characters, but the historical events are real. And you can learn a bit more, even through jokes, because at least you can see that they're happening and you're a little bit more aware of French history and world history. So first, obviously, the biggest one is l'indépendance de l'Algérie. L'indépendance de l'Algérie 
which is treated in a very, very old fashioned way, which is extremely interesting because we have a different point of view now. We have l'indépendance des anciennes colonies africaines as well. L'indépendance des anciennes colonies africaines as well, because France had colonies in Africa and the way they were treated is obviously very shameful. And you can see how they evolve through um, this show and what they expect and also how they're treated in a very bad way by French uh, officials. We have les essais nucléaires as well, les essais nucléaires, the test of the nuclear bomb. You have Cold War, la guerre froide, la guerre froide between Russia and the United States. And you can see French point of view on both sides, which is extremely interesting because also one of the spies is in charge of the Eastern Europe part of the world and he loves it. And it's so interesting to see his point of view and this humor on this area and uh, period. And at last, something that is very French, obviously, is la collaboration. La collaboration pendant la Seconde Guerre mondiale. So all the links that there were between the Nazis and some French people during World War II. And because it's in the 60s, that most of the hierarchy, most of the older men in, this, in the series have a connection with the Second World War and a role. Because if they're there now, it means that they were somewhere else before and it counted in their career. So this is why it's so interesting because they hide some things that it don't, they're not proud of or they, won't, they don't want anyone else to know. Or some others were heroes and you can see how um, World War II, even though it, was, it ended 15 years before, had such an impact on their life. And at last, obviously, it's not just historical events, it's also all the customs and uh, even the, the French that was used in the 60s that you can see in the background that is so interesting because it's not just the clothes, it's also the way they speak, um, the way they act. And it's absolutely fascinating and it's extremely funny because now we hopefully can make some jokes about it. What you notice in Au Service de la France? What's interesting in this show, beyond the historical events, is how French people see themselves, how they see the, the society of the 60s. For example, a funny thing is that, um, a thing I love, is when you have Americans coming for a meeting with the French spies, and at lunchtime, the Americans have their lunchbox, and the French people have to go to the restaurants because they always go to the restaurant and they take like two hours to have lunch. And it's such a different cultural point of view that I think it, it goes beyond the joke. It's a different cultural um, expectation that is extremely funny, but there because they very much almost never met Americans before because people travel much less. They're very surprised and they absolutely don't understand each other. Beyond that, how French people see themselves, it's not positive at all. The way that French people see themselves in the 60s is that we are feignant, feignant, it's a lazy, feignant, we stop working at five, we take long uh, lunch times, we arrive late, we are not very much into work. Um, we are ignorant, ignorant is ignorant, Ignorant, we don't know much, we don't speak other languages. We are racists, racist, that's something that you can understand, especially with this era, which was extremely hard. Um, French people see themselves as colonialist, colonialist. This is something you can especially see with the relationship with Algeria, and you can see with the fr um, French colonies in uh, Africa as well. Um, and they're radin, radin. <laughs> Radin is when you don't want to spend too much money and you look always uh, at the money you can make. For example, there's a funny scene where they capture Nazis. I think it's one big uh, Nazi official and they just care about getting the money because they have a bonus when they get one and they don't care about what's behind it. And it's so funny because they're only obsessed about hierarchy and the money they can get from it. And at last, all the red tape as well. The red tape in everyday spoken French is called la paperasse. La paperasse is, it comes from le papier and it's um, 
pejorative word to talk about paper, as in red tape, all the paper you have to fill in, la paperasse. They only speak French, they're very chauvin, chauvin, it's um, when you only, it's a bit nationalist in a way, chauvin is not very positive, chauvin. The arrogance, we say arrogant in French, arrogant. They're nostalgic of an era that doesn't exist anymore and they hope will keep going, which is nostalgic, nostalgic. And at last, they care only about the past and that's conservateur. Conservateur in French, conservateur. That's about a series about French people. But it reminds me about two other ones that if you're interested in, you can check. It's Norsemen, made by Nor Norwegian people, and Blackadder, which is made by the British. And on both of them, they revisit real history of the countries with the modern jokes and point of view that they have now. So it's so interesting to see how a culture sees themselves, especially in recent events. Because here, it's the 60s, it's not very long ago, and you can still have these point of views in the general culture, which is so interesting to understand. So I highly recommend you check it out. It's on Netflix. Um, you can also watch it in, on Arte if you happen to be in France or Germany or maybe Europe. But at least there you will have subtitles, and that's pretty useful to understand everything. Don't worry, it's an advanced uh, series because it has lots of um, hidden meanings, but you would get some of it and it's very, very funny and it's worth giving it a try. I know some of my students already saw it and they love it and I hope you do too. Et toi, quelle est ta série française préférée? Tell me in the comments what's your favorite uh, French TV series? Quelle est ta série française préférée? I love it when students share recommendations in the comments because then you can have new ideas of what to watch to improve your understanding of everyday spoken French. For example, you can write, j'ai adoré un village français, je l'ai regardé avec ma femme. J'ai adoré un village français, je l'ai regardé avec ma femme. I loved un village français, I watched it with my wife. It's a fantastic TV series about a village in France during the Second World War. Lots of students love it and I highly recommend you give it a try. If you learned something today and you're curious about this series, please share this lesson with a francophile friend. That would be fantastic. It's the, a very good way to support my free work. You can share it with a friend on Facebook, on Twitter, by email, by telling your friends about it, by telling your French class about it even. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can put maybe a thumb up. That would be very nice. You can subscribe to the channel on YouTube to avoid missing any lesson. And if you want more spoken French, don't miss my 10-day everyday French crash course. I mentioned it at the beginning of the lesson, but lots of people miss it on YouTube, so I please don't do that. You can leave your first name and email and you will get lesson one immediately. It's a 10-day mini course and it is completely free. I wish you une bonne journée, une bonne soirée if it's the evening, maybe une bonne nuit if you're going to bed, and I will see you next Tuesday. Allez! Salut